adventurers, it's Ramen Quest and the Japan Expedition. 47 prefectures, and I'm going to see them all. Number 43, Ehime, Day 2, Matsuyama City. Capital of Ehime Prefecture, Matsuyama is also the largest city on Shikoku Island. In the middle of the city, atop Mount Katsuyama, sits Matsuyama Castle, one of Japan's original 12 castles. First built between 1602 and 1628, the original five-story main castle was destroyed by lightning. The current three-story castle was reconstructed in 1820. While you can hike up the mountain to the castle, I recommend paying the 510 yen to take the ropeway to the top. Once you're finished, you can take one of the streetcars from the castle and head over to Dogo Onsen Station, where you can see the Bochan train. Built in 1895 with Meiji-style architecture, the Bochan train is a diesel-powered train in the style of the first railway in Japan. A stone's throw away from the station is the Bochan Karakuri clock. With a free foot bath using the local hot spring water from 8 o'clock a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m., on the hour you can also see the clock come alive with characters from Natsume Soseki's 1906 novel, Bochan. Walking down the shopping arcade with its many cafes and restaurants, I recommend a stop at Dogo no Machia. While it might look like a regular shop on the front, deep inside is reminiscent of the old style tea house and has a beautiful inner garden. it was time to relax even more. And what better place to do that than the famous Dogo Onsen. Built in 1984, its wooden interior is a maze of stairways, passages, and relaxing rooms to rest in after a soak in the hot spring waters. The Dogo Onsen is featured in the Bochan novels, as it is said Natsume Soseki often came here to relax. It is also said that Dogo Onsen served as an inspiration for Spirited Away. It is a hot spring fit for royalty and was even designed with a special entrance and private rooms for the emperor. Along with your bath and a snack, you can get a tour of these historical rooms. All warmed up from my bath and almost ready to go, I couldn't leave without tasting some more of Ehime's famous mikans with some delicious mikan ice cream. Given more time, there were many more sweets and snacks I could have eaten, but full and relaxed, I had to go. Ehime is a prefecture I'll remember fondly, even if it was a bit of a pickle getting there. See you next time! Don't forget to comment for your chance to share in the adventure with a postcard from Ehime. Next on the expedition, Fukui, Day 1.